Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to see Howie. We've missed him. I checked the seals on the windows on the fiberglass roof. They seem to be solid. There is one window I'm not 100% sure about. It might not quite be solid. And then I fixed the right passenger window. It didn't go up all the way. The carpet was wet. <clears throat> so maybe it leaked in through there. I'm hoping there's no more leaks. But if there is a leak, it rained solidly enough that there would be some issues with the carpet. So look at the top of that. That's solid. That all oh yeah. It was dull and oxidized. The fiberglass roof was like just that it had oh, like right. dirt, spores of you know, and like moss, spore things growing on it. Dirt and spores and moss and stuff. And there's a lot of all those little black marks and stuff. They're all across the top of the fiberglass. It's all clean, scrubbed off. He is the kitchen scrubby and just went to town, put sprayed water and Scrubbed it down. Now I'm gonna take a polish to it. Try to get the oxidation out of it. Got some uh, microfiber pads that I just dumped in the water. Good job. Viking microfiber pads. And I've got Meguiar's, uh, I got their three-in-one kit. Their uh, fiberglass restoration kit. And it comes with the oxidation remover, the high gloss polish, and the pure wax. I got done. It's fully polished and waxed. The oxidation is removed. And now it's like white and shiny and beautiful. Yay, so it's nice better. and clean. It's a lot. He got a bath. Nice, clean, solid, white, beautiful fiberglass shell. We're gonna go see if he wet himself, if he had any leaking problems. Let's check in and see if it got wet in there from the rain. It does not feel wet. So I think maybe the water was leaking through the window that we fixed. So you fixed Howie. Well, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm putting my hand in the engine compartment to put the power steering. <laughs> that would be bad. Kevin is a road trek mechanic. Uh, so if you just call 444 44 trek, he'll come out and help you out with all your road trek. She's just making things. <laughs> all your road trek problems. Call your nearest qualified road trek. <laughs> hey, you, you've been doing a great job. It's just sad. I wouldn't want them to call me. I think it has a cold? It doesn't have a cold. Oh, they said it has a cold. It's supposed to warm up the engine. So you warm up the engine and then once it's warm, like it's at the normal operating mm. temperature, you then check your transmission while it's idling. Oh, I see. But sometimes they have a cold one. This does not. All right, we're on our way to take the RV in to get it worked on. There we go. So we're here to get the RV serviced. Kevin is walking up to where he needs to go. This is an RV dealership and they also do RV maintenance. Ah! We're gonna you know, lube up the chassis, inspect it. They're gonna go through and do an oil change and check fluids and they'll probably need to flush the radiator. They're gonna check all the seals, they're gonna check all the electrical. They're gonna check the generator. They think the carburetor is probably just gummed up. They'll get the generator running. They'll get. They'll flush out all the, the system, all the tanks, uh, and put in the clean water. They're gonna test all the appliances. They're gonna inspect the liquid propane system. So by the time we're all done, inside and done, we should have a fully functional. Well, they're also gonna do a brake check. So pretty much, they're gonna fully inspect everything. They're gonna get the generator working. They're gonna make sure everything is working and safe. They're gonna make sure the liquid propane system is good. Because uh -huh. it's not lighting right now. It's supposed to have two-thirds of the tank of liquid propane. So there's something wrong. After we're all done, this vehicle will be road worthy. Yeah. And it'll be, uh, we're gonna take it out. Yay! We're getting it worked on. We're moving forward. 